Hello everybody, this is Streaking and I'm back to kick off round two for group B and this could be an important round in this group. At first we'll see Moloch Horridus going up against Khalid, Black Beauty going up against Drogon Targaryen the third, and then Ultimate Dino King going up against Team Asia. So let's get on with our first matchup which is quite an important game at the bottom. Yeah, this could be an important match for these two. Don't want to be cut adrift early on. Okay, for Moloch Horridus in the blue red corner, we have a Baryonyx. Okay, so we are on the beach field, which favours wind dinosaurs and lightning dinosaurs. Oh, no, it doesn't favour lightning dinosaurs, which is bad news for Khalid, because they have a lightning dinosaur. Backing up the Barry, we got Laxovasaurus. Moloch Horridus bruised after a bruising defeat against Team Asia. Will be in the bounce back. And I think, given that um, Khalid will have terrain disadvantage, I think you have a good chance here. But there's our terrain advantage playing up in the blue corner for Khalid. We have Taurosaurus. And because it's a lightning dinosaur on the beach field, it will get hit first. Ooh, and in fact, the Barry, even though it'll have type disadvantage, which might be a saving grace for Khalid, will get a crit. Okay, so Moloch wants to swap when HP's below half. Khalid in the red. Backing up the Taurosaurus, we've got the king of the crits. It's Tajonosaurus. Ooh, this is interesting. We're going to have Tajonosaurus against Lexosaurus. Could be a key matchup, that could be. Right, first things first. Let's get this terrain advantage underway. <laughs> Well, Baryonyx's moves are rather balanced, so I'm not convinced this is going to do too much damage, so... It is a free hit, though. You know, can't... Okay, yeah, thought so. Can't really knock yourself out for a... You can't really complain about a free hit, can you? Oh. Well, Khalid's about to, eat, so about to take the lead. Unlike the Aqua Whip, this lightning strike will do some damage. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, almost killed the Barry. Well, we remember Bollock getting wasted by the big foot assault in the first match. And it looks like it could be happening again for him. Only this time, it's going to be big lightning strike. Boosh! Up, here comes an Earth Barrier. And, despite the terrain disadvantage, Khalid is off to a strong start. Wow, really come flying at the blocks here. Stop the swap as well, so the Barry's in for the long haul. Well, short haul at this rate is almost dead. Ooh, maybe not. It's got a Futaba cannon. The Barry on it's pulling it back slowly. In fact, I think this will do more damage than the Aqua Whip did. Oh, oh yeah, the Earth Barrier. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, okay, that's probably bang on halfway, so... Yeah, not enough for a swap. Oh, well, a bit overkill, but it is Khalid in the lead. Ooh, I like that. Khalid takes the lead. Khalid's in the lead. Ooh, I, I, ooh, I, I'm, I'm, that's a nice ring, there. That's a nice ring to Okay. Well, from type disadvantage to type advantage. But can Moloch use that to get back in this contest? Okay, he'll get the hit here. Which means the Taurosaurus will attempt to lovely swap. Oh no, Khalid swaps when HP's in the red, which it now is. So he wasn't ready to swap anyway. <laughs> Earth Barrier could be crucial here. Okay, so yes, the Taurosaurus will now attempt to swap. Oh, but he's not going to get it. And it's Maxovasaurus pulling it back for Moloch. Ooh, now, now this gets interesting now. Khalid does have the... Oh, actually, no, I wouldn't even call it a lead, to be honest. And Maxo does have the Earth Barrier. I think Moloch might have just stolen this, moment, this match's momentum. Yes. Things look bleak at the beginning after that lightning strike, but Moloch has turned this match around. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not. 
to Gongosaurus land in a hit. Of course, it'll eat up that Earth Barrier, which I suppose is good for Kaleidid, so it doesn't waste the crap. But, there's the big game changer there. The Rock Roller. And let's not discount Lexi's crit as well. Oh, we went for it. <laughs> Ooh, this has been a good match so far. Good match. Strong start from Khalid to take the lead. But, Moloch Horridus clawing his way back and establishing a lead for himself. Okay, yeah, that was more damage. The elemental power will definitely help there. Ooh, this could actually end in a draw. Legit, unless one of them gets a crit. Ooh, was a hit. Slugging away at each other, these two stegosaurs. Slugging away. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, forgot about the tiebreaker. Okay, maybe it won't end in a draw. The tie. Oh, that might be game. Khalid getting the sand trap, and I think that will do it. Lex Oversaurus will not survive. <laughs> How's your day at the beach, lads? Boosh. Yep, yeah, there it is. Lex Oversaurus going down. And it is a big three points for Khalid. But I tell you what, Moloch Horridus had the momentum there. That sand trap might have just saved Khalid from defeat. Actually, let's have a quick let's see. So, paper, 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 paper. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe Sand Trap would have activated, yeah, but a good win for Khalid there. But, Moloch Horridus does get a losing bonus point because the Tajongosaurus was in red. So, Moloch not leaving away empty-handed this time. Right, let's go on with our next matchup, shall we? Ooh, oh, it's a Sunset Beach Field this time. Right, in the red corner for Black Beauty. We have Pachycephalosaurus, Black Beauty fresh off this surprise win over the Dino King in the first round, although they did need a bit of luck to get. But it was certainly a notable start for the debutant. Backing up the Pachycephalosaurus, we got the sweat itself, it's Brontokins. And we are on the Sunset Beach Field, which means this Brontokins and Water Dinosaurs will get terrain advantage. That could help Black Beauty yet again. I mean, Terrain Advantage helped it last time. Might help him again. Although, Drogon Targaryen the Third's first dino is a Spinosaurus, which has Terrain Advantage because it's a water dinosaur. Drogon also getting off to a winning start last time out against. Who was it? Uh, Khalid, yeah, so on. <laughs> okay, so Drogon wants to swap when HP's in the red, Black Beauty when HP's below half. Backing up the Spino. We got Super Duper Eocark area. Oh, I forgot it's a Super Dinosaur. <laughs> and the Awaken mode is... I need to double check real quick. Awaken mode on two. <laughs> I forget there's Super Dinosaurs in this tournament. There's not that many of them. Right, so Spinosaurus has terrain advantages. So, he will get the first hit. Which will, in fact, be a critical hit. Wow, can't ask for a better start here, can you? Boosh! Bronthikins might have to do some work. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm pretty... I don't think that's below half yet. But it's pretty close. Now it's going to be below half. Boom. Well, pack yourself for the source. You're going to have to swap out. If you even can. This is a strong start from Drogon. Ooh, but the Pachycephalosaurus does get the swap. So the Pachycephalosaurus getting the hit there, healing up the Anyang Guiradine. And a successful swap with the Brontokins. Now this could be interesting. The Brontokins can get that, get that bar filled up. We might see some Spectral Armor in this tournament for once. Of course, none of this matters if the Spino gets the hit, which it does. Tech boost coming in as well, so we might see some aqua javelin hits. Ah, we and we do. And yes, the reason Brontokins didn't get the hit there was because the Spino also has terrain advantage, so they both cancel each other out. The tie. 
Ooh, I might be below half. We'll definitely be below half. Drogon Targaryen completely on top. Oh, the Volcano Burst support effect coming in. Don't think the Yorkark here is going to be needed at this rate. That was a tie. Ooh, that could be a crucial crit from Brontigans, but the dino stuff is going to stop it. But the saving grace is like Brontigans will get the swap out. Well, he should get the swap out. Yeah. But that's it now for Black Beauty. No more swapping. Well, I say it could be crucial because if it can kill the Spino and Brontigans comes in, well, it looks like the Patty Cephalosaurus is about to die. So, what, I, what I'm saying is basically irrelevant. Okay, if, if the Pachycephalosaurus can somehow kill this Spino, Vabronthekins will get a free hit on the Yokark area. Because of the terrain advantage. Buddy, that's not gonna happen. The Spinosaurus is gonna kill the Pachycephalosaurus, which did basically nothing. Ooh. Well, no dino stuffer this time to save the day. And all the more while, that bar is filling up. Two more hits and we might see some spectral destroy. Ooh, has this match's momentum swung? The Eocarcaria getting, the, getting hit there. Unfortunately for Black Yuki. He won't get the free hit from the terrain advantage because the Brontekins isn't coming in. It's already in. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Eocarcaria getting a cheap hit there. And it is a wait, wait time. Well, it's all on this now, isn't it? If Brontekins gets the hit, can Brontekins get this hit to get Black Beauty in this match? Oh, he can't! But the Dino Stuffers, this time, helping out Black Beauty. Ooh, that could be game changer because Eocarcaria's health will be halved. This is game, that could be game changer. Ooh, it might be game changer. The recovery's gonna come in. And all of a sudden, things going wrong for Droga. And it's spectral armor time. Well, Drogon has been in control of this match from pretty much the get-go. Not anymore. Well, this would be a smash and grab for Black Beauty if they pull this off. Oh, he's not going to. The hit from the Okarkiria. I don't think it's going to be lethal. Oh. No flare sword either. Is Drogon gonna throw this away? Oh yes! Drogon thrown it! He's bottled it! And and somehow Black Beauty has won this match. Wow. Somehow some way, Black Beauty has won the match. Absolute insanity. Completely dominant from Drogon. But just couldn't finish the job. And when it mattered, they like said that Dino Stuffer, I think that was the turning point. The Eocark area got the hit in Awaken mode, but the Dino Stuffer stopped it because it was a crit. Oh. Oh, that was a good match. That was a good match. And that will put Black Beauty top of Group B. But Drogon will get a losing bonus point. And let's be honest, they should have they should have had the three points. But they'll have to settle for a losing bonus point. And that moves us swiftly on to our third matchup, which could be an important matchup between Ultima Dino King and Team Asia. Well, I know it's a bit early, but this could be a big match for Ultima here given the way the other results have gone. 
Okay, as for the first dinosaur in the right corner, we got Super Attack here. Wake the mode on three. Didn't see it at all in the first matchup, mainly because of the terrain advantage that the other guy had screwing it over. Backing it up, we got the Salty Saurus. Okay, we are on the Sunset Beat Field, so this Saltosaurus will have terrain advantage. That might help Ultimate here, and in fact, this is a very good field for Ultimate because Team Asia have a Grass Dinosaur, and Grass Dinosaurs have terrain disadvantage on this field. And well, there's the Grass Dinosaur. It will have the tight advantage over the tar, but Ultimate will get the first hit in this match. And given his Tarkia, he's got a tech boost, got the Earth Barrier, he, will have, he could have protection early on. Team Asia fresh off his big beating of Moloch Horridus in the first mount, round, which is quite a surprise. Backing up the Sauronophus, we got Mononophosaurus. So yeah, who is it? Must, oh, must win for Ultimate, yeah. I feel like. I know he's early, he must win, because if he loses this match, he will be cut adrift to the top four. And that's not a position you want to be in. Right, so first things first. We'll give Tarkia their free hit because of the terrain disadvantage of Sauronophus has. Okay, so Team Asia wants to swap in HPs in the red, ultimate below the half. But yeah, look, uh, even the tight advantage there to kill her, but ooh, a shockwave support effect. A good start from Ultimate Dino King, this. Much more like it. Right, that's one. Okay, so as per the rules, Tarkia will be going for the crypt. Ooh, not getting the crypt this time. Another tie, but the Tark does have sand trap, which is appropriate considering we're playing on the beach. Sauronophus gets the next hit though. It's not a crit, it's not a crit, and it's not a grass move, so not the worst case scenario, that's twice. Okay, yeah, that's not below half. Another hit from the uh, Tartia. Steady start from Ultimate Dino King. And an Earth Barry at the boot. And it's a weak weak time. Well, the Tarkia, regardless of what happens, will be at, will be below half after this. Oh, he gets the hit. But the tag team is gonna stop the damage. Ooh, how, how big could that be? Does that put Team Asia in the driving seat? Maybe not. The salty Saurus getting off the shot wave. <laughs> so that means Tartia will yet again be going for a crit and a swap this time. Oh, and he gets it! Well, this is much more like if I'm up than a Dino King. Much better. Much improved so far. Okay, so yes, the Saltosaurus actually will get a crit because it has terrain advantage. Ooh, a very good swap there from Ultimate, using the terrain advantage well. So yes, the Saltosaurus, terrain advantage over the Sorolophus, who had terrain disadvantage, so the Saltosaurus got a crit. Although, I'm sure you would have loved the crit on the model of the Saurus instead, but that's not how it works. Well, can Ultimate get a bonus point win? Which would be, well, very welcome. Ooh, the crit from the mono. I mean, he's in a strong position to win this match. The hydro cut has been triggered. Oh, ooh, ooh, I was close. <laughs> I thought you were going to get a hydro cutter off then. Oh, he's trying it. But Monolophosaurus is having none of it. And in fact, that will put Saltosaurus's HP below half. So it's time to swap for ultimate. But this time, he's not going to get it. Hmm. Would have liked the swap there, in case Tarkia dies. Swap into the Tarkia, in case the Tarkia dies. And then the Saltosaurus comes in with terrain advantage and gets the hit on the model of the Saurus to finish it off. But that's not going to happen. Ooh. 
<laughs> I don't know what that was. I think this dude's still got Earth Barrier, so... Team Asia coming back into it. Oh! Is it going wrong? Is it going wrong for Ultimate again? I think he's still got the Earth Barrier, though. So I think he'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, this is this is really close. Like from nowhere, Team Asia right back in this. It's like the second match. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, we got Sand Trap. That could be crucial. And in fact, Team Asia is guaranteed a losing bonus point because Ataki's HP is in the red, and it has no way to heal itself. So losing bonus point secured for Team Asia. But can they get the win? The odds are in Ultimate's favour now. A tie will do it. Oh, that's it. That's game. Whew. Well, I think Ultimate can breathe a bit of relief there because Team Asia was really coming back into it. That could have gone really hairy there for Ultimate Dino King, but they just secured the win. They just about got it done. It wasn't convincing, but they just needed to get a win on the board to get their tournament up and running. But Team Asia will get a losing bonus point as well because Atakia's HP was in the red. Wow, Terrain Advantage really played a role in that match. Really good. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. So yeah, that is how our table looks for Group B. Black Beauty going up top with two wins out of two. Team Asia and Drogon Targaryen the third getting, getting the losing bonus points in their respective matches. Staying in second and third, Ultima Dino King and Khalid level on points up three. And Moloch Horridus rooted to the bottom with that solitary losing bonus point. Ooh, wow, look at that. Group B looking really interesting there. So let's have a look at round three. So round three, we'll see Khalid going up against Black Beauty. Moloch Horridus taking on Ultima Dino King. Ooh, a rematch from the last tournament there. Could be... Well, that's, this is gonna, that's going to be a big game in the round three. Moloch don't want to get cut adrift again. Well, don't want to get cut further adrift. And then we will see Drogon going up against Team Asia. So yeah, that's going to be it for this session. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until then, this is Training Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.